Hello Aquarius, welcome to another love reading. This one's going to be all about what your person is currently thinking or feeling about you. What do you need to know about their intentions? As always, keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate for every Aquarius watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you, okay? Let's jump right in. For Aquarius. What messages, what guidance do you have for Aquarius regarding the person they are thinking about or connecting with at this time? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person that Aquarius is thinking about or connecting with at this time? For Aquarius. What are they thinking or feeling about Aquarius at this time? What are they thinking, feeling about Aquarius at this time? What are they thinking or feeling about Aquarius at this time? What's he thinking or feeling? Mm hmm Two of Swords, Two of Wands, and the High Priestess. So this person is unsure about something when it comes to you or this connection. There's doubts and securities here. A choice that they have to make. We'll have to see what this is about in a second. Bottom of the deck, the Five of Pentacles. And they're not doing very well. I think the High Priestess, you know, it's all about secret knowledge. Um, hidden knowledge. So I feel like this is something they're internalizing. It's like they are trying to make this decision you know on their own or this is something that they think about on their own they probably haven't discussed it with anybody let's get some insight here tell me more for aquarius what are the energies that this person is bringing to this connection what are the energies that they're bringing to this connection these three mirrored souls oh there's four secret admirer burden heart new beginning okay bottom of the deck tied up yeah there's like this uncertainty here or something that they're like stuck in that they they haven't made it like a, uh, a decision about or they haven't like been able to make this decision about a path they want to choose or you know it's something like that let's see see what clarity we can get here I got some insight please for Aquarius get some insight please for Aquarius tell me about the high priestess Why is the High Priestess here? Why is the High Priestess here? Ten of Wands, that's that burden heart energy. Seven of Pentacles, there's anxiety over a future outcome or result. Uncertainty again. Seven of Pentacles is like, I've put in all this work or effort, will it pay off? You know, once I make this decision and I put my effort behind it, will that pay off for me? Tell me about the High Priestess. The Hermit and the Fool. Yeah, the Hermit Virgo energy there. And there's the Seven of Swords. This person is doing something in secret or planning in secret, thinking in secret with the Hermit, trying to figure out their next steps here. I think that whatever they're thinking about, this Two of Wands, Two of Swords, there's a risk involved. Let's see. What do we need to know about the Two of Wands? Let me put them together because I feel they're connected. What do we need to know about the Two of Wands and the Two of Swords? What do we need to know, Spirit, about this Two of Wands and the Two of Swords? What do we need to know about the Two of Wands and the Two of Swords? Knight of Wands, Ace of Wands, Knight of Swords. So some sort of um, message with the Knight of Swords. This is almost like an impulsive thing. Can I get one more, please? 
Why is the two of wands here with the two of swords? With the fool and the ace of swords, I feel like there's a new beginning that could happen after this decision is made, after this decision is communicated. We have also new beginnings up there. Tell me about the two of wands, two of swords, please. Page of cups. Oh yeah, two of wands again. So this person's debating whether to send you a message, apologize to you. Tell me more about this person. What do we need to know? Huh. What would they tell Aquarius if they had the chance? What would they tell Aquarius if they had the chance, Spirit? What would this person tell Aquarius if they had the chance? I feel like this person has waited some time with this Ten of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. They keep doubting themselves. It's all my fault. What else do we need to know? I'm having doubts, exactly. They're having doubts. And I feel like they question themselves, are anxious. It's all my fault. Maybe they feel guilty about something. I think that they might be stuck in a past, like a past situation, a past decision, a mistake in the past um, that they still are thinking about and blaming themselves for. What else do we need to know about this person? What else do we need to know about this person? I am becoming a better person. Bottom of the deck. I regret lying to you. So they might have deceived you about something here, Aquarius. Maybe said something that, <gasps> excuse me, they didn't mean. Hid something from you that was important. What are their intentions towards you? Let's look at that. What are their intentions towards Aquarius? What are their intentions towards Aquarius or this connection? What are their intentions? What are their intentions towards Aquarius? Okay, I'm just going to take the top one, Page of Swords, because there's a lot in here. What are their intentions? Their genuine intentions towards Aquarius. Queen of Cups, Temperance, Sagittarius Energy. Can I get one more? Eight of Cups, Six of Wands, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio Energy with the Queen of Cups. But with the Page of Swords, I think this person definitely, they have something to tell you. Um, they haven't told you this yet. I think this would be new information. More clarity, please. What is this Page of Swords about? Knight of Wands. Why is the Page of Swords here? I'm getting out of the blue for the with this. And okay, never mind. The hang. Actually, no, it is out of the blue. Ten of Cups. Yep, Eight of Wands. This is gonna be quick. I think that there was no communication from this person before that, and then it's like out of the blue, they contact you. Because I was hearing that with the when I first put the Knight of Wands, and then I put the Hangman, and I thought, well, maybe it's not so quick, but I think it is. I think the Hangman is just a symbolism here for no action, no communication, and all of a sudden, Knight of Wands, Eight of Wands. Tell me about Temperance. Why is Temperance here? Yep, Page of Swords. I think whatever they have to say, they're hoping to restore balance here. Actually, let me flip that over.
like telling you the truth about something, communicating honestly with you. Tell me about temperance. Why is temperance here? Wow, I got Queen of Cups again. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And there's that Seven of Pentacles again. Yeah, I feel like when they do come forward, they're going to, yes, very scared energy with the Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Seven of Pentacles. I feel like they're going to be like, look, I don't even know how you're going to take this. Or I was not going to tell you this, but I'm going to tell it to you. Some, some, like that kind of energy where someone's like, you know, you might not respond, but blah, 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 blah. <laughs> That's the message, you know? It could be from a fire sign or water sign here. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Why is the Eight of Cups here? Ten of Wands. I think that one of you walked away from this connection. Could be them, could be you. It still weighs on this person. Yeah. They still think about this. Hermit, Virgo energy. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Wow, judgment. And there's the Nine of Cups. Yeah, Ace of Cups. This person, they really love you, Aquarius. There's a lot of feelings here. And also this need, desire that they have with the Nine of Cups. There's a fool, um, not the fool, I'm sorry. The moon, seven of swords, Pisces energy, seven of swords. This is something they haven't expressed to anybody. I think they've kept this desire to themselves and they haven't come forward because they have been doubting themselves this whole time, going back and forth about what to say, what to do. Um, I think when they do contact you, it's going to be almost like an impulsive thing. Like they just, maybe they get drunk one night and decide to send a text or they just show up, you know, or they see you somewhere and they decide, let me just say hi. What's the worst that could happen? Or, but it's going to be with like a disclaimer, you know, it's going to be like, hey, I know we haven't talked in a while, but hey, I know that you don't want to talk to me right now, but hey, I know things ended badly between us and you have no reason to want to talk to me, but something like that. Tell me about Aquarius and this person they are thinking about or connecting with. What else does this person want to tell Aquarius? What are their energies towards Aquarius? What are their energies towards Aquarius? What are their energies towards Aquarius spirit? I regret not taking action sooner. Yeah, because you've been doubting and going back and forth this whole time. When I miss you, I look at photos of you. Mm -hmm. They're not over you, this person. They would love a new beginning with you, but that would take courage. And for some reason, whatever history you have, this person thinks about it and is almost like it keeps them from reaching out. But if they, their intention is to send you a message I just think it's going to happen out of the blue because it's going to be an impulsive act on their part. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.